Thanks for coming, everybody. And, um, you know, we've had our coaches in for a week already. And, uh, you know, we're just excited to get everybody in. We've been on the phones and talking through, but uh, we're excited about the staff. Um, a lot of CFL experience, a lot of coaching experience. Um, I've got five former head coaches on the staff. Grateful and excited. Uh, as I told you before, Tim, it's kind of in the DNA. I mean, this is what I love. This is what I've done for 20 years. And um, at, at the core, I'm a teacher, and I just love the challenge that it comes with it. Um, so, you know, I, I loved doing TSN, and I loved doing it in 2015. But uh, a coach is what I am, and I'm excited for the opportunity. And I, I, I see a lot of things here that I'm excited about. I understand what Paul's trying to establish. I understand the challenge at hand, and um, couldn't be happier. Really couldn't be any happier. You try out your coaches today. They've been here for a week now. Does this kind of make it more real and, and, and we're, it's full steam ahead at this point? I don't think it makes it more real, but it just tells you, like, there's a finite amount of time. Like, sooner or later, camp will be here before you know it. Yeah. Um, so it's, it, I, I think it's cool just to see relationships. The guys were here last week, so, you know, like, some guys' cars are in route, so because of the trains, and so you see guys traveling together, going to dinner together, just kind of bo uh, bonding and create relationships because that's important for us as a staff because we have to be a cohesive unit and then that we bring that to our players too. I started coaching Bob a lot of football then I went to junior high school, went yeah. high school and college, go football. But wherever I've been I still get that that little tingly feeling where you get goosebumps and you get excited when you get on the field, whether it's the practice field or in the meetings, and, uh, you know, I, I kind of equate it to like kissing your first girlfriend. You know what I mean? And you get that that excitement going. You want to get good coaches first and foremost. So uh, I think it is a process, and I think my experiences in the U.S. allows me to. It's very funny when when I hired Kerry Bailey. Literally the day I hired him, I had like four friends of mine from college reach out to me. I'm like, well, where were you a month ago? Like, but they all said, oh, he was a great hire. Worked with him. So, uh, yeah, I think I take a lot of. There's a lot of time and effort and stress in making sure you get the right mix. And I really feel like I got a nice crew here.